Right, okay, let's see what we can make uh, out of this piece of uh, elm. Um, I've already marked the centre out, and what I use for that is this uh, gadget. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, some of you may already have one. There's loads of different ways to sort of mark out your centre, but um, I, this is quite a good way of doing it. So, quite a chunky piece of elm, this one. Um, just going to see what we can do with it. how far we got so far just trying to make it into a bit of a sort of a roundish sort of bowl well kind of like a bubbly sort of shape really um, just try and get something different as you can see we'll keep shaping it up. Top off of here, so we can make some kind of um, some kind of lid out of this.
And there's not much left of this, but I do have some kind of plan. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'm going to figure it out now, I think. base back up into the chuck and I've obviously got my little lid that I've made. 
quite a tiny little piece at the moment, but um, I think that's kind of all I'm gonna really gonna need. So I'm gonna put this in slightly differently. As I said earlier, I'm not too worried about the middle. There's a little mark in there because I'm obviously gonna drill through the middle. Um, and I'm gonna put a, um, like a little handle on there. So ideally, what I want is this to sort of slot into there to, uh, to make the lid. So I need to be very careful now what I do. Uh, not to make this too big. So let's move those out of the way. <coughs> and let's uh, start. Now we can obviously measure this if we want to, but I'm just going to try and do this by eye if I can. So I'm going to start uh, with a safe area. We obviously know that's too small, so. gone with a, a safe um, diameter at the moment I know that's too small but you know just gonna check yep so uh, he's come a little bit bigger than that so now I just come slowly out from that I'm just making small cuts and just uh, checking back each time really Okay, so we're getting fairly close now, so we've got to be very careful. I do want a fairly good fit on this, but um, it's not so much of a problem if it's a little bit uh, loose, but... in fairly well when that gets a little bit deeper that will fit in quite nicely so now we want this to sit in there but also sit onto a little ridge so what we're going to do is we're going to make that little ridge now
change so that probably needs a bit more taken out of there but not a lot as you can probably see with thin a little bit we get ready that hole there we go fits quite nicely now so I shake this off, put a little knob on there. That'll be quite a nice little fit. Getting it off now. Off of there eventually. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out this section. Um, let's do that now. takes a little bit out of it anyway. It just gives you a bit of a head start really.
a bit of sand and cedar on here now, just to first coat. I'll do this uh, without the lathe running. Um, sometimes it seems to give a better finish really, just to make sure you get into every nook and cranny. Nice uh, piece of wood, this. Keep the speed on low for a minute. Let's do this really carefully. Too bad. Probably just need to <coughs> curve this up.
So now what we'll do is we will line this back up on the lathe. And then we just want to drill a hole. I mean, there's already a hole there, but just want to make sure that it is uh, This around a little bit so I'm just going to pop this off a bit of sand in sealer in there um, and then I am going to I'm just going to take this off and uh, we're going to do make sure this is level so obviously this one, this lathe here, this moves around um, so I can bring the, the, the work out. But obviously I uh, need to try and get it back level again. So I'm going to do what we call a, a kiss uh, between these two points. So I will um, set this up uh, in here um, or the other side and then we just make sure that they meet um, near as damn it anyway. So I'll do that now. Okay, so um, this is what I'm going to do now, really, just to get this level, make sure I'm drilling in the right place. So I've mounted this back into the lathe, um, and then I'm just going to bring this up close. And as you can probably see, if you can, um, I don't know if you can or not, but there you go. Let me just, uh, there we go, it's a better view. So as you can see here, um, and I push this right up, it doesn't quite line up. So what we've got to do here is uh, move um, the lathe. So we've got to undo here, and then we've just got to make sure that this lines up. I can't really do this whilst I'm holding this, so uh, line this up a bit more. It's not quite there. There we go, and that's pretty dead on. So I'll just lock this back in place now. I'll take this back out, and we will mount the chuck back on. We know now that this is a dead center. Um,
Right, okay, so um, I'm getting closer to uh, finishing this little um, this little pot, really. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I've got this, which basically um, slots into slots into here, as we've seen. Um, now, I've got various different sort of handles um, that I sort of got in the drawer and stuff, and I found this one, um, which I've used before on, on, on something, and actually looks quite nice, actually. So... This would actually fit quite nicely in here, um, and then what I'll do is um, just put a washer on the back, um, and then we we'll put one of these, one of these on the end here. And these little chrome sort of like uh, nuts, which make it look a bit nicer. And just tighten that up. So that won't come off. So there we go. Looks quite nice. Nice little finish on the lid. Um, and then obviously you've got something then to place inside there, which looks quite good. Um, so we're getting there. Almost finished. I mean, it's pretty much finished. Um, but obviously we've got to just finish the end off here. So what I'll do is I'll just put that through the sander. Um, and then I'll just polish that up a bit um, probably put the uh, NZ logo in the bottom um, and then we're pretty much finished really but yeah it's quite a nice little little pot really um, I'll put some finishing pictures up at the end um, I hope you enjoy watching uh, me make this piece um, if you like it please subscribe comment um, and uh, We'll see some more um, some more pieces made soon. Thanks for watching.